Hi guys and welcome to a new video. In this week's video I'm going to be looking at a problem that I'm having with my car at the moment. I keep getting lots of condensation on the inside of the windscreen and I wondered where all the moisture was coming from. When I looked in the boot I had a massive puddle of water, there was loads of water in the boot so we've clearly got a leak coming in the boot from somewhere so I thought I'd make this video just in case you are having a similar problem and hopefully we'll sort it out in this video and we'll work out where the leak's coming from. I believe it's a common problem with the Mark 7 Golf, unfortunately. Let's strip the boot apart then. I've removed this piece. As you can see back here, we've got loads of mold growing from where it's been so moist in here. Let's take out a tool kit. What on earth? No way. It's so moist in here, it's even grown some mushrooms. Let's remove this plastic piece without breaking it. There we go. Does this come off? Oh yeah, that just unscrews a quarter of a turn. And then you can take this out. I typically keep this spare oil in the back of my car and the bottle split and leaked into the boot so we've got this oily substance everywhere I think that's probably good in this instance because at least we've got this rust protection in the boot so let's give this boot a clean out then now I usually get lots of comments like why are you ruining that um, nice white hoodie ollie and why are you ruining that towel it looks like it was brand new I think the camera does things a, a lot more justice than it deserves. That white hoodie I had in my wax oil video was pretty old, um, had holes in it where it's been eaten by moths or something. I just tend to use old stuff like this as rags, See, it's ripped. We've got a few T30 Torx screws to remove. Let's take them out. Uh, just one there. Right, that one clips, sort of. Always feels like you're breaking stuff with this plastic. It's because you probably are, Ollie. One more in here. Is that a different size? you got to be joking me. Okay, we've got a T30 down here, and this must be a T25. Why they couldn't just use the same size, I don't know. There we go. Now, I'm not going to remove this plastic piece completely because I'll probably never get it back to where it's supposed to be. I want to remove this carpet underneath here. So I'm going to go try to find some kind of pry tool. Oh, fucking ouch. No, it's fine. I just pull these clips out. Right so now I can slide this back. So I've just put this spare wheel here to hold the carpet back. And if we look in here we can see that this channel's filled with water. So what's happening in the boot, we've got this air vent here and it's not sealed properly around the edge. So it's filling this channel up with water. Um, when it gets to this level, it spills over and into the boot. So we need to take the bumper off to uh, seal that back on. To make removing the bumper easier, I'm going to take the lights out. So first of all, let's uh, unplug them. So you just get something in here, pop that out, take the electrical connector off. And you can just literally unscrew this. And then this light cluster just comes backwards and out like that. I'll do the same on the other side, remove that one as well. Just put that in here. Let's take this one off. I then remove the four T25 screws which hold the wheel arch lining to the bumper. That's the 
four screws removed up each wheel arch so now we should be able to carefully pry this bumper off and just get something to press the tabs in the okay, screwdriver will do also you just be careful there we go and up close you can see you just got to press these plastic tabs in and then the bumper will come off just gradually working our way around underneath here we've got these uh, tabs which hold this bottom section on and it's a T10 Torx bit but my screw seems to have broken off that wasn't me it was already like it so I might just have to uh, try and pop that out So here we have our leaky vents, just look at that, the water is getting in behind here and literally going straight into the car so we need to take this off and reseal it, I think it's just got a couple of tabs on the inside, so let's squeeze that, oh, there we go, you can see the water in the bottom here, there's a pool of it, so we need to take this bung out there we go let the water out let's dry this out once you're happy it's clean and dry put your bung back in I've cleaned off around the vent here and it's all nice and dry so I've got a bead of silicon and I'm just gonna put this around the edge little tiny wiggle just to make sure it's seated on there and it's not going to leak let's wipe off this excess wet finger just press that in there it's the same on this side not quite as bad but there's still water in here Before we put the light back, let's just clean off all the dirt from around here. Another area which the car may leak from is around the lights at the back. It's just a foam seal which goes around here and seals against the body of the car and over time that foam gets thinner and thinner until the water eventually gets behind it and makes its way into the car. So I'm going to seal the light fittings onto the car as well. This is a foam seal around here. So I'm just going to put a small bead of silicon on that foam seal. This is just normal silicon. You don't want anything too strong. You don't want to use any like Seeker Flex or <laughs> anything like that because you never get the light off. That should do. And that's it. Put that back in. Let's put this in here and then push the red tab down. I know it may sound obvious, but don't forget to pull this rubber seal up over the trim we've spoken about the air vents we've sealed those up we've spoken about the lights we've sealed those up another couple of possible areas that could be leaking from round here this rubber grommet which takes the wires to the boot lid and um, sometimes the water can leak in here and you'll most likely see a watermark on the headlining Another place it could potentially be leaking from is this boot badge here. There's a drain hole in the back of this boot badge with a tube that runs inside the boot to let the water out the bottom. And if 
we have a look here. If this goes inside the boot, which often it does, then it's going to be leaking inside the car, inside the boot. So if you're missing this part, the chances are it's underneath here and you need to replace the tube which goes from the badge down to here. I've had this before and I made my own up because I didn't want to buy the part, but um, I'll put a link in the description to this part if you want to get one. So that's the four most common areas I believe these cars leak from. I hope you found this video useful and it's helped you sort the problem out. If it has, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you'd consider subscribing to the channel, I'd really appreciate that. If you click the alarm bell, you'll get notifications when I post new videos. Cheers guys, hopefully I'll see you next time.